Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. What I've got with me today is Ruger's new PC charger. That's right. We've all been talking to Ruger and they were actually listening. They put together and just released the PC charger. So this is the 9mm PC that we all love. I've done a review on every version of the PC that they got and now they have the pistol version. This is awesome. It's got a five inch, five, five and a half inch barrel. I'm not sure because I can't find the specs because it's not listed yet. This has, this has tons of opportunities for accessories, you know, personalizing this, uh, maximizing your fun. You know, we've got the, the 1913 Picatinny rail back here that we can put a pistol brace on. Of course, Tandem cross, we can do all kinds of stuff with that. We've got a standard AR grip here. We can change that. We can throw a comp on there. Um, we can have all kinds of fun with this. But before I do any of that, what I want to do is I want to shoot it essentially straight out of the box, as is the only thing I put on because this does not have iron sights uh, or even really the capability of having iron sights. I've got my Sig Romeo 5 on it. We're at 50 yards. Let's see what we can get for a group right out of the box. And then we'll come back and start doing some different distances and kind of go over the gun and have some fun. So here's the initial sight in with the PC charger right out of the box. First shot, dialed, second shot, third shot, uh, had a stray, and then grouped them in. And that's right out of the box with my red dot on there dialing in with a Sig Romeo 5. That wasn't bad. I'm really happy with that out of the box. You know, I'm going to be honest with the five inch barrel. I was really concerned that maybe they went just a little bit too short. Um, was kind of expecting a bit bigger spread. Uh, so far, so good. Really impressed. Um, thinking, you know, maybe it wasn't such a bad idea to go with the five inch barrel. It does have some more recoil. The typical 16 inch barrel on the, the Ruger PC, it, it has no recoil, none. But this little pistol without that stock and stuff, it does. And I've done this on my tandemized. I love tandem crosses, um, muzzle brake here compensator it helps with the jump in fact well, let's do a slow-mo and see specifically but i want to try this and we're going to go on some steel here at 50 then we're going to go 100 and then we're going to go out to 200 i'm using wolf performance and we'll give that a test so this is the long-awaited unboxing of the ruger pc charger nice Felt like a kid at Christmas opening this up for the first time. First thing that you're going to notice right off the bat is this thing's heavy. We'll go through all the features on this. Let's just do a quick what's in the box. Pretty much standard for any of the Ruger PCs. It comes with a Ruger mag. What is that? 17, 17 round capacity. We've got the cable lock. We've got the Allen wrenches that we need. And then, of course, we have the Glock Magwell adapter because this will take both Ruger and Glock. Okay, so if you're not familiar with the Ruger PC, it's just a standard nine millimeter. It's got a blowback operation. It uses the SR9 or Security 9 mags, but we do have an interchangeable Glock Magwell adapter so we can use Glock mags. It has a last round hold open, and then the bolt release is right here. The rails on this are the Picatinny Mill Standard 1913, but then it also has this here where we can attach different options. With Now, like all Ruger PCs, it comes with a threaded barrel, one half inch by 28 thread pitch, and it's got a really nice thread protector on there. Okay, so the basic internal functioning of this is the same as all the Ruger PCs. And I'm not going to go into disassembly. The biggest thing that's different with this is the length and that it's a pistol instead of a carbine. Okay, so on the receiver here, we've got two quick detach. They're built in. I 
Love that. They're at the perfect angle for this to hang to the side. I think ideally this would best be suited for a single point sling attachment. The grip, this is Ruger's grip, but it is basically a standard AR-15 pistol grip. We have the safety here. What I can tell on the barrel is this is a five and a half inch. This has to be locked back. And then we have the barrel release here. You pull this all the way up and turn counterclockwise and this pops off. It's pretty short. I guess one thing that I would uh, recommend or I would go for a couple more inches. Keep it at the same, the same length. But that difference between five and a half and seven and a half, as I've seen in other PCs, seems to make a huge difference. And the five and a half inch here isn't necessarily saving us a lot of space if it's not going beyond this as far as packing or carrying. To put the barrel back on, you have to make sure that the bolt's held back. And then this just slides in. As with all the Ruger PCs, the charging handle is ambidextrous. There's a little Allen wrench screw in there and we can flip it and put it on the other side if we like. Same goes for the mag release. This is completely ambidextrous and we can switch sides. The only thing that we can't do is change the ejection port. That's going to stay on the right side. The trigger on this is very nice. Almost no travel, no creep, no grit. Reset. Hand stop on this is made by UTG. It's a nice little hand stop. You can get these and use them on all different kinds of platforms. Now, I just videoed the slow-mo, so I haven't gone and done the editing, but I don't need to. I know, period, that that tandem cross decreases the recoil and the muzzle jump. I love it. I'm leaving it on. Let's go ahead and do some more shooting with this. All right, let's just try it 100 here, bagging it. We're going to get to standing. That shooting it in pistol configuration without any kind of brace or anything, just kind of letting this sit on the sandbag. That is awesome. It's Friday night. A lot of you are like me. Pizza night. How would you like the best home pizza for $2.50? Check this out. 60 seconds. All right, let's get this done. We're going to take a Jack's Pizza. This is from Sam's Club. You get four of these for like 10 bucks. That doesn't look all that great. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take some bacon bits because bacon, we know, is good on everything. We're just going to sprinkle it around.
Then we're going to take some Tones Italian seasoning. This is also from Sam's Club Costco. This stuff is great. Makes your pizza. We're going to sprinkle some of that on. Then we need a three cheese blend. This is also from Sam's Club. You can do Costco. Any three cheese blend. Now one of the secrets, guys, is we don't want this sitting on anything other than the rack. It can make for messy oven sometimes. That's why we got the foil down there. It makes the bottom nice and crispy. 15 minutes and we are good to go. Okay, so there's our 15 minutes. Now, here's one of the keys. We're gonna turn on broil. We're gonna get the top nice and brown. Hot. Mm. It's good. Now, as is out of the box, and you know the original configuration, the pistol configuration, this thing hangs beautifully with a single point sling. Very comfortable. It is a heavy gun, but this this is really short, compact. And it's easy to bring up. I like it. Let's see what we can do here at 50 and 100. It's not bad. I mean, it's, it's not obviously near as stable as having a brace on. But I'd be hard-pressed to do that. Well, maybe. Maybe not with a pistol. Um... But yeah, that does work pretty good with a single point sling. Against that, it does kind of uh, push on the finger a bit. You can try grabbing like this. Um, I may end up taking that off. I haven't decided if I like that. Not a big deal either way. Hey guys, if you like this and other videos and reviews that I do, make sure, <laughs> chickens, make sure and use our Amazon page, our links. You can go to Facebook. I've got it all there. These are the things that help support Beyond Seclusion. Also in the description, everything is there. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, basically, it's just rerouting to different places through our links. Some of them are affiliates and this, this helps beyond seclusion and keeps things like ammo and guns and optics coming in to review. A lot of you have done outstanding. Thank you so much for your support. I don't know how successful I'm going to be, but you know, I got to try it at 200. It's hard to hold it still out in front like this, but let's give it a go. I have no doubt with a pistol brace on this, that would be easy. I'm hoping I've got, I've got most of the components for doing an accessory video. You know, I'm super excited. Got the ability to do a folding brace, um, collapsible and folding brace, different grips, all kinds of stuff. I'm just waiting on the buffer tube. If that doesn't come in time, then I will do a separate video as soon as it comes. Okay, now I've got a brand new CMP steel target range. It's back in the, the woods. I'm shooting out here today because it's not very windy and we just had a bunch of rain and it's kind of money. And I'm actually wanting to save that for when I do the accessories. So you have to check that out. CMP steel is awesome. Let's shoot this <laughs> like a regular pistol. Uh, yeah, it's big and it's heavy for a regular pistol find my red dot there we go <laughs> the t the tandem cross muzzle brake definitely helps 
with that. I, I can't help myself. I have poor impulse control. I'm back here at my new CMP steel target range back here in the trees. Um, I've got some targets down there, but actually I've got sort of a little course over there. Let's go check okay, so that I out. I got some steel targets over there. We've got 40, 30, and then I zip over here and I've got 20 yards. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have some fun with this and go in between and back and forth between the targets and see how this does. My turkey followed me back here, so you're gonna hear him. Tom! Yeah, that's my turkey, Tom. Tom! So anyway, that's the Ruger PC Charger, the new Ruger PC Charger. Ruger listened. They gave us a pistol version. This thing rocks. I love it. It's awesome. I was concerned about the five-inch barrel. Not anymore. Okay. I'm going to guess that the accuracy is going to be a little less, but I was, I was blown away by the accuracy out of this five-inch barrel. Um, going to do the accessory video, going to do that all by itself. We're going to have some different options for pistol braces. This thing rocks. If you guys have been looking at one, get this one. I like this one. You're going to love it. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. Till next time, happy shooting and be safe.